guys, my name is Rebecca and I um, have been teaching different forms of fitness classes for over 15 years now and um, with all of the stay at home and stay safe at home and healthy at home initiatives, I'm finding that I'm really missing my yoga classes. So I thought today I would just do a really short, maybe a 30 minute yoga session. Um, so if you'd like to join me and you're cleared for exercise by your physician, then um, get your mat or clear a place in your living room and we'll get started. So if you have a yoga mat, just stand near the front of it. Stand up nice and tall, open the chest, open the heart, open the hands. And if you feel comfortable in the standing position with your eyes closed, just close those eyes. And a lot of us, while we've been staying at home, maybe we haven't been quite as active as we are normally with the gyms closed. We're just going to have a short, gentle yoga session today. Many of you may be feeling a little bit anxious, uncertain. We're going to use our yoga breath to just calm the nervous system. Think about inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose if we can. Realize that you're exactly where you need to be in this moment. Keeping those eyes closed if we feel comfortable with that, but nodding yes, bringing the chin down toward the chest, and then either to a neutral position or in a slight lift. Turning our face into that neutral position. You can still keep your eyes closed if you feel comfortable. We're just going to turn our head slowly to the right, come back to center, and then slowly to the left. Again, nothing forced, nothing too fast. Nice, slow, and smooth. Let's do about two more of those. Making our way back to the center. Open those eyes if they're closed and let's just rotate through the wrists.
Let's rotate in the opposite direction. Very nice. Shake things out. Have some water handy and drink that whenever you want. I'm going to scoot back just a little bit so that you can see more of me on the screen. You can feel free to stay where you were. We're just going to reach down with the right arm, reach up with the left. When we reach up with the left, don't let the shoulder come up. Just reach up through the arm. chair position you want to make sure that your knees are behind the toes so pushing that bottom back so if you think about like a porta potty how you might want to hover right over it knees behind the toes arms here or here is a little bit more challenging hold it for a few more seconds and then press up and let those arms come all the way down to the sides and roll the shoulders. Stepping forward with the right foot, stepping back with the left. We've got that left heel up. We're just gonna lunge down, bending both knees. Reach under the leg if you can. Reach overhead. together overhead bring the palms together step forward pull down to heart center and release into mountain beautiful stepping back with the opposite foot now bending both knees reaching under the leg if we're able and overhead Do one more. When we reach up, bring those palms together. Step together and guide the hands down to heart center and release into mountain. And shake things out, loosen it up, get some water if you'd like. After you've had your water, sinking into the heels, we're just hinging forward. Allow those hands just to slide down past the knees all the way down and coming into forward fold. So think about just relaxing the crown of the head down toward the floor. And you should feel a nice stretch along the backs of the legs. Now most of us, we tend to push the hips back because that releases the stretch. So think about keeping the hips forward so that the hips and the knees and the ankles are nice and lined up. And then just relax the upper body. If you prefer, you can come into waterfall. For waterfall, you grab above the arms as you hinge forward. 
So what waterfall does, it allows the weight of the upper body to help us stretch through that lower body. Slowly ragdoll up, soften the knees, tuck the chin. Ragdoll all the way up. Nice shoulder roll. Shake it out, get some water if you'd like. And again, I think the music got louder. So coming back into your mountain pose after you've had some water. We're going to sink into our chair and then stand back up. So remember that chair position. We push the bottoms back, the knees stay behind the toes. So when you're ready, sink back and then lift up. Let's do one more. Now bring those hands behind the back again and open and lift the chest. Press those open palms toward each other. And release and roll the shoulders, shake the arms, shake the legs. Step forward with the right foot, step back with our left, bending both knees down into a lunge and coming into prayer pose. Step together, lift the arms up, and then push the hips forward, reach slightly back. So we're making a nice little arc. Arching the back, coming back to center, pulling down to heart center, releasing. Step forward with that left foot, step back with the right, sink down to our lunge, and hold that prayer pose. Step together, reaching the arms up, press the hips forward, reach slightly back. Coming back to center and pulling down to heart center. And release, roll the shoulders. Shake things out, get some water if you want. We're gonna be moving into our downward facing dog. So if you need a modification, you can always use a chair if you don't want to go all the way down. And then whether your heels touch the floor or not, it's just a matter of how loose you might be or how long your legs might be in relation to your arms, like we're all different. So if you're really tight, especially through the hamstrings, you might be challenged to get those heels closer to the floor. So begin near the front of our mat. Bend the knees, take a nice deep breath up, inhale. On the exhale, we're gonna swan dive, lead with the chest. Swan dive all the way down into forward fold. Placing the hands on the floor, we wanna have nice open palms. Stepping back with one foot and then the other and pressing our hips up. So we're pressing away strong with the arms and the shoulders. Open palm, and I'm going to turn to the side just so that you can see if you're not familiar with it, what it looks like. So 
So we want the hips to be the highest point. We can think about the ears and the biceps being close together. Now, I don't know if you can see, but my heels are down on the floor. But yours might not be, that's okay. What you can do is bend one leg while we press the opposite heel down and then switch, almost like we're marching in place. Lowering both knees to the floor, releasing our toes, pressing the hips back, lower the chest, slide the hands forward. This is our extended child. Lifting the chest slightly, taking the right arm, we're going to thread the needle by reaching underneath that opposite arm, stretching through the shoulder. Coming back to center, now taking that left arm, threading the needle and looking to the right. back forward, slide the hands back, coming up onto all fours, rounding the spine like a cat, and then pushing the belly down, arching the back, lifting up through the crown of the head, this is our cow position, take a nice deep breath, and then exhale into cat, inhale into cow. Exhale. Inhale. On those exhales, think about separating our shoulder blades.
Let's do one more exhale. Coming to a neutral spine. And then just sink the hips back, walk the hands back. Get some water if you'd like. And then slide over to the side and extend those legs out in front. Give those legs a little shake and shake those arms as well. We're going to move into a seated forward fold. So remember the forward comes before the fold. So the first thing we're going to do is extend the arms from the shoulders and then start to reach forward. So reach towards your screen. Try to reach a little more, maybe walk those hips back. Reach a little bit further. So depending on your flexibility and how stretched out you are and how long your arms are will impact how far you can reach. So reach a little bit further for me. When you've reached as far as you can, reach forward, then we're going to start to fold down. So hold your forward fold. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see something. So sometimes when we reach forward and we fold down, we tend to round the spine because we want to get closer to that leg. But we're really losing the stretch when we change our body positioning. So think about reaching forward and then folding down. So you really want to reach towards your toes or beyond. Even if you can't touch, a lot of people can't touch their legs. But you want to feel that stretch. And when we collapse the upper, upper body, we lose that stretch. So remember, fold forward first, or reach forward first and then fold. So we should be feeling a nice stretch along the backs of our legs. And then slowly right dog up, roll the shoulder. And we're just gonna slide one foot in, doesn't matter which one. And I'm just turned to the side so you can see me, but you can stay on your full mat if you've got a mat. So you're just bringing the inside of the foot along the inside of that leg. Now when we reach forward, you're going to feel a stretch more in the hip, but it should be easier as far as the back of the leg. So again, reaching forward first and then folding. reach an arm behind you, press up nice and tall, and we're going to reach toward that bent leg, and we can use this arm to hold the leg in, continue to walk the hand back, twist and look over that shoulder. If you prefer, you can press on the outside of the leg. Slowly turn back to the front. Release both legs, give them a little shake, and let's go to forward fold. Reaching forward, folding down. And then slowly ragdoll up. This time sliding the opposite foot in, bringing the bottom of that foot against the inside of the leg, reaching into our forward fold. slowly, lifting that knee, you can reach behind you, and we're twisting toward the bent knee, so I'll be twisting away from you this time. Come back to center, extend both legs. And let's go into our final seated forward fold. Reach.
reach toward your screen, reach as far forward as you can, wiggle those hips back if you need to, and then folding in half. Ragdoll all the way up, roll the shoulders, and then slide those feet in, soles of the feet pressing into each other. You can wiggle those hips around a little bit so you can get those feet a little bit closer. Clasping the hands over the toes, leaning slightly forward. We're just gonna use a little gentle pressure of those elbows against the legs and look down. challenging sessions. So if you find that those are too difficult, you can always come back and repeat this one. Have a great day.